So we have arrived in Turkey. I thought I'd kick off this vlog with explaining why we're here, what we're doing here. I know a lot, a lot of you don't know, we might know now from my stories, but um, we're actually here to get our teeth done, uh, which is really exciting and nerve wracking. Um, it's our first day. So yeah, we're going at 7.45, it's currently like half seven. Um, meeting our driver at the front of the hotel. He's picking us up um, and taking us to Dental Center Turkey uh, But we're just gonna grab some breakfast first I'm gonna explain a little bit more later on in the vlog as to why I'm having the procedure My boyfriend Aaron who's brushing his teeth is also having the procedure as well. I'm getting crowns top and bottom. I'm not sure how many yet just purely because I see what the professional recommends. I thought First of all, I would give you a little room tour. We're staying at the Jiva Beach Resort in Fetier. So we're going to the Fetier Clinic, which is one of the VIP clinics. I'll show you our hotel. We stayed at this hotel last year. Um, we just came here for like a regular holiday, but when we found out it was coming back to Fetier, we thought, let's just stay back here again because it's just unreal. So we, let me show you. This is like the view from our terrace. And then we have like a little swim up pool, which is really nice. This like little terrace area, with our beds. And then you come in, little seating area with Aaron's books, our bed. It's honestly huge, like the camera doesn't really do it justice. Massive mirror next to the bed. This is the bathroom. So yeah, it's really nice. We stayed in like an attic room last year. Um, the deck was kind of the same, but it's just so much bigger. Have a mirror here. Yeah, and it's huge. <laughs> basically had our first appointment we're just sitting up on the terrace now and it's actually just insane like I was so nervous coming here um, but honestly they treat us so well and it's been made to really comfortable we have had our teeth checked like they've been x-rayed um, I'm not allowed to like film inside any of the treatment rooms really or on any of the floors just for like patient confidentiality we've had our x-rays done we've had like our treatment plans made like photos of my teeth now, how they are. Um, Aaron's had his done too. So we're both getting crowns. I'm getting top 12 and bottom 12 crowns um, in the shade BL1, which is the second whitest. Dental Centre Turkey have like their own shade as well, which is just almost blue. It is so white, it's called DCT White, but I'm not having that. I'm having BL1 and so is Aaron. Um, Aaron's also having a dental implant in his front tooth because he doesn't have a front tooth basically because of an accident he was in a couple of years ago. We know how much it's going to cost now, we know um, what exactly is going to be done for both of our procedures. Tomorrow we are coming back to have... <laughs> Tomorrow we're coming back and we're having our teeth filed down to literal pegs which I'm coping better with the idea now because it's just a bit... I know about it now. And Aaron tomorrow is also having his implant done. Literally drilling into his jaw, but yeah, it's 
so he's having that done. So we're really excited and very nervous, but at least we can go back to the hotel today now after our consultation and knowing exactly what we're having and that we can just eat all we want, all inclusive and just chill in the sun. But I will show you this terrace because it is actually insane. Hold up. So, oh, train's going mad. Ooh. Right. So you kind of walk in to the terrace. Um, this is like the Fresh Pegs drink spot. And then you have this little wall of grass. It's, honestly, the aesthetic here is just so beautiful. It's all on rooftop. There's literally like no one here either. It's really big. It's like 30 odd degrees and it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. And it sort of looks out onto the street. But yeah, honestly, it is just stunning. And I feel very comfortable having the next few days here. So after hours of sunbathing, we're on our way to the gym doing chest and shoulders. You didn't say more? Yeah. Yeah, both doing chest and shoulders. It's actually quite a nice gym, I'll show you. I'm gonna film a workout for my Instagram, but then I'll film like a few workouts throughout the time while we're here on this vlog too. But yeah, buzzing for a session. I'll show you what the gym's like when we get down there. So this is the gym as you walk in. It's really good, there's like everything in terms of machines. We're doing chest and shoulders, so Aaron's just on the chest press now. But really good, loads of moves everywhere. I'm training in my flip flops because I forgot trainers. Yeah, in here, in here there's like treadmills, cable machines, bike, pull down, shoulder press, and there's like dumbbells and stuff in there, but I'm not gonna film that bit because there's someone training. night and meal. I just thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing these little sandal things from Primark. Really cute. This dress is also from Primark. You're about to realise how much a Primark queen I am. It's actually like a beach cover up but it's cute for like, a night outfit. My bag's also Primark and my earrings are from Lovisa I think. He's gone for a very casual look this evening. Oh yeah, Jordan Shorts, I see you. Our restaurant's over there, so we're gonna go eat. vlog this morning we woke up at quarter to eight if you can tell why i'm talking really funny then you'll soon find out we woke up at quarter to eight and we were getting picked up by dental center at eight o'clock so we was in a bit of a mad rush didn't even have time to have breakfast but we went to dental center again for our second appointment and we had our teeth filed down which was an experience it wasn't it wasn't the worst for me but it was it wasn't great i've now got these temporaries in that look really white in this light but yeah, they're basically, let me see if I can move over somewhere else. Is that a bit better? I don't know. So yeah, we had our temporaries put in after our teeth were filed down. Um, these are basically plastic and they're really rough and uncomfortable and I've still got like all anaesthetic and numbing in my jaw so that's why I'm talking really strangely. So we had the, our teeth filed down, we had the temps put on, um, Aaron Blessing had all of that as well as an implant and he's in a bit of a rough way like a surgery on your teeth anyway so there's a lot of blood and a lot of pain and everything but he's fine um i've just gone down to the can canteen i've just gone down to the buffet and just hit my head on that <laughs> gone down to the buffet and got us some soup because we are on liquid only diets we can't even have the bread but 
potato soup and tomato soup. But I think I got another potato soup because <coughs> because I think tomato soup might, might stain our plastic teeth. With regard to how the actual filing down process went, it, like it was fine. We had everything like numbed. I had numbing cream and then injections. So I couldn't really feel anything. Like at some points it was really sensitive. Look how oily and sweaty I am. It is like 37 degrees today, which is just mad considering I haven't even been in the pool yet. I had like everything numbed, so I couldn't really feel too much, but at the same time, it's just all the pressure and all the discomfort and the noise as well. If you're getting your teeth done, take earphones and make a playlist because I did that and I feel like if I didn't do that, I'd have just had a massive panic attack, if I'm honest. Aaron is crawled in the shower and he's just sitting there feeling sorry for himself. It went fine. We have an appointment tomorrow, which is our presentation. Basically have a look to see how our teeth are going to end up looking. It's only a short appointment. It's like 20 minutes or something. Yeah. We're actually getting it fitted on Monday. So tomorrow's Thursday. So we've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Then getting the full ones fitted on Monday. So we've literally got five days with these plastic teeth and no solid food. I'm going to tuck into my soup and I'll catch up with you later, giving you a pain and discomfort update. So it turns out that when you have plastic teeth and literally no feeling in your mouth, soup can't be eaten with a spoon. So I'm on a straw run. Can't wait for these out already. She's got the goods. Bit of an update. I can hardly talk because it's really uncomfortable. These plastics are killing me. We've just gone and got some dinner. <laughs> and we literally are like, we. Dinner? <laughs> dinner. And we've had to ask to bring. Oh, I feel so uncomfortable. We've had to ask to bring our food from the all inclusive buffet up to our room because it's literally so embarrassing and we can't eat in front of other people. They're probably thinking, what the hell is wrong with them? I've got potatoes mashed up because I didn't have mash with some like white onion soup over the top of it um, with some noodles but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to eat them because I can't chew anything and then some fish but again <laughs> not sure Aaron's like yeah all in one straight with the noodles I can't do that and then you've got chicken wings how are you going to batter like handle them Hand batter them <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to tackle them? That's what I meant to say. Suck it off the bone, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Give it a crack. I've got such a lisp, I actually am annoying myself. And I can't drink out of a bottle, so I have to drink sideways out of a straw. <laughs> Good morning. So we have just gone down for breakfast, and we both had to have complete mushed food. Like, I had eggs completely mushy with some... Peaches, mushy as well. And you had eggs as well, didn't you? Yeah, eggs and meat. And meat. Don't know how he did the meat. Update on the plastics. They're okay, like super uncomfortable, but I don't actually have any pain. And I woke up this morning with no pain either. No sensitivity and obviously like the medication would have worn off by then. Um, but also, yeah, just not really sensitive and completely fine really. Just uncomfortable like, on my gums. And like on my tongue as well but we are just about to head down to the pool we don't actually have any so you can't see because brilliant we don't actually have any sun on our terrace so we go down to the pool in the morning we get sun on our terrace at like two o'clock but we have our presentation to see how our actual teeth are going to be and we get to design them and everything and that's it too um so we're really excited for that get picked up too. just quickly show you what i'm wearing so i've got primark flip-flops obviously and this skirt is from Boohoo. It was last year, but I'm not too sure whether it's still there. This bikini's um, from Shein. Shein, never, never know how to say it. But it was so cheap, and I absolutely love it. And my bag is from Primark too. And he is wearing... Primark shorts. Primark shorts last season. Uh, Turkish flip-flops. Tur Why have you got Turkish flip-flops? I've got flip-flops. <laughs> Presentation. Very exciting. Hopefully we'll be able to film like how we design the teeth and how they're gonna look. Fingers crossed. 
Allora, non te ne Allora. Ok, then. When you came near our clinic, your teeth was like this. So your teeth, your teeth, tiny bit gap and then tiny bit croaked as well. Is that? Mm. I like, but it's your choice, of course. Yeah. Okay? No problem. It's good. Is it okay for you? Yeah. Okay, well, you have a gap between your teeth. Mm -hmm. According to your picture, your teeth is like. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> Came out from a different angle as well. Just, mm -hmm. Is it possible to spin it just to see how they would look? You saw this one? Yeah. Just to see the point properly. Mm -hmm. right. So it looked like this one. This is canine tooth. Good. Perfect. What do you think, yeah? Very good. Happy? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, so I think the last time I checked in was actually at the presentation. How long since the pre presentation? Uh, on the way back. Did I? Oh. Footage. oh yeah, we went to the uh, chemist to get our drugs. Um, but yeah, we had our presentation and as you will see, it was just, I was so overwhelmed, it was so exciting. Like, I'll put Aaron's in as well, um, so you would have already seen that. Um, but Aaron is getting a bridge across his front three teeth. Please excuse me when I'm talking, like, it's still not possible to talk normally. Aaron's getting a bridge across these these three teeth here. Um, so that's why they couldn't really present on there, because he's actually getting zirconium, but the other ones are Emacs. So basically they couldn't present his full smile, um, but that's fine, we kind of knew that anyway. But the rest of his teeth look really good. And I saw my teeth as well, which was really exciting. I didn't actually realise how much I didn't like my natural teeth. Um, and then when I had the new ones shown over the top, I was very pleasantly surprised. We was initially meant to be getting our fittings on Monday, today's Thursday and then it got pushed back to Tuesday for some reason but I think it was because they wanted to do me and Aaron together on the same day but then that was going to leave us like five days with these plastics and honestly like we can hardly eat like just mashed potato and things like that so you know you pay for an all-inclusive hotel you don't really want to have to wait so long to have all the food and alcohol and everything we pushed back on it because we didn't want it on Monday or Tuesday um, and we weren't that bothered about having it together because Aaron's obviously had the surgery so he has to let his gum heal a little bit. I'm getting my fit in on Saturday, which is really exciting. And the dental center is shut on Sundays, so Aaron's getting his fitted on Monday because he has to let his gum heal. Speaking of Aaron's gum, let me show you if you're slightly squeamish Look away now. <laughs> about anything like blood or gore related, then look away. So Aaron's had an implant on his front Right. right tooth so yeah this tooth here um, basically had an implant put up into what was the root and this one this one and this one will be a bridge eventually he's got the plastics in like me at the moment but yeah he's a little tender but anyway his needs to heal and he's getting his fitted on Monday and I'm getting mine done on Saturday. We'll each have our day, but we're really excited. Just had some food. Really awkward actually because we had to walk around the all inclusive restaurant and they had, they had to basically pick what we wanted and then they delivered it to our room because we couldn't eat in the restaurant because we were literally like food spilling out of our mouth. Yeah, I thought I'd pick up the camera now because we're about to take our evening medication and I'm sure I'm going to get some kind of questions about what we had to take. Aaron and I have slightly different medication because he's got something for swelling as well because he's obviously like really swollen from everything that's happened. It looks a bit like a cat in the hat. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got, I think these are antibiotics. So I take one in the morning, one in the evening. And then I think these are painkillers. They might be ibuprofen. It says something about flubiprofen. I don't really know. I take these one in the morning, one in the evening, both after food. And then also a little mouthwash. And we will check in tomorrow for a full day of the sun. Good morning everyone. So we are on our way to breakfast now. We woke up a little bit late again, but um, we're thinking of having a beach day today. Hopefully get a good tan today because we have a full day, no dental centre. It's a fitting day for me tomorrow, so I'm super excited. Actually, 
kind of look naked, but I'm not. I'm just strapless bikini. Thought I had got the camera. I'm in the pool, in our little room pool. Had a morning at the beach this morning. It's actually just so lovely there. I have no idea if you can hear me or if this wind is just too loud. Tonight, I think our plan is I'm gonna go to the gym in about half an hour or so. Get a back and bicep session in. I didn't train yesterday because we were just so like knackered and exhausted and I did train the day before because obviously had all the filing done, it was just a bit much. And we're going to come back, get ready for dinner and then go for dinner and have more mashed food and mashed potatoes. We're so excited. Yeah, just enjoying the sun and I will catch up with you either in the gym, I might film my workout or I'll catch up with you around dinner time. I'm so excited, I'm just really nervous. Like last night I woke up a few times in the night feeling a bit nervous. Also I've got some like ulcers from my plastics here, here, here and also on my lip as well. So they've been winding me up a bit. But for my last mushy breakfast I have, they actually look terrible, but some scrambled eggs mushed up. Mash up these apricots. I've got a sparkling water because I feel like bubbles just help fill me up a little bit where I can't eat that much. And Aaron's pretty much got the same but with some meat. Till Monday. Till Monday. And Aaron's got a massage at 10.30 quite soon and I'm going to go down to the pool, catch some sun, read some of my book and yeah. So I'm back from the dental centre. I've had my crowns fitted and I'm so happy with them. I've still got a lot of numbness like around my chin. Um, I haven't got any pain, like apparently sensitivity is gonna like kick in when the numbness wears off. But they grew real. Ready? <laughs> I love them. Like all my bottom jaw is really numb still, but I got the shade BL1 and I got 24 so they go right to like my back teeth but yeah I'm absolutely in love. I'm not going to go on about them too much because I'm going to do like a whole Q&A but I love them. So we've just arrived in... So... We've keep just... <laughs> Apparently keep saying so but... We've just arrived in Fetier. I actually have no pain or sensitivity and by now... Ugh. <laughs> by now the um, anaesthetic should have worn off so like all my numbness is gone but I don't have any pain or anything which is just great I'm in a bike lane sorry I'm gonna film a little bit around the markets but apparently it's gonna be super busy today because it's Eid festival um, so a lot of Turkish people have come down to Fetier this evening so it is gonna be super busy so I'm gonna try and film what I can but hopefully we'll find some Little gems in the markets in the shop. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday. We've been and had breakfast, been out chilling for the beach. Teeth are feeling absolutely fine this morning. Like, I have no pain, nothing. Like, 
I was honestly was expecting a lot more discomfort. Just having a nice chilled beach morning. Honestly, people play music and things so loud. We're gonna have some lunch. We'll probably head back to our pool in our room for the afternoon. So I check in and show you how pretty this beach is. Finished sunbathing for the day and we're about to head on down to the gym for a leg session. I'll tell you what I'm wearing, a holiday gym outfit. I've got my protein leggings that are actually cut into short, DIY. Um, this is an Amazon sports bra. It's got, I don't even know if you can see, it's got a cute little back on it. And of course just Primark flip flops because still don't have any trainers. But yeah, down for a leg session and time to get ready. Go to dinner, what are you wearing? <laughs> Go on. Nike shorts. Nike shorts. Ran out of boxes. Oh. Come on. <laughs> I remember we got to pack loads of boxes, so we need to find some washing powder tonight as well. Don't we? Come on, okay. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, but today is Aaron's fitting day. I'm so excited and nervous about. Um, and I have my appointment just to like have a check up on my bike, get some gum shields and everything. I don't know. Like, it's terrible. Um, so yeah, we have that at four o'clock, but we're just chilling by the pool today. Until then, but he's having Emacs, but he's just having a bridge at the moment because obviously he had the implant and it's not good enough yet to be able to have um, the permanent crowns put on. So we have to come back in six months, but we're excited and we're nervous and he's just chilling. So we are back at Dental Centre, we're just sitting on the terrace at the moment. Aaron's had his crowns fitted, but they're not been like cemented in yet. They're just sort of replaced just to see if you like them. A little gap at the back, um, but the dentist said he just wanted to take back to the design lab just to amend so that there's no little gap anymore. Yeah, you're excited, aren't you? You're really nervous. Yeah. When they fit the teeth, they don't look that good, do they? Just because gravity, sort of places the bottom ones perfectly but the top ones sort of look like horse teeth so it's kind of hard to tell. Mine were the same though, then they Hello, I didn't really vlog that much yesterday. Um, we had a bit of a crazy day with Aaron getting his teeth fitted and everything. Just had a bit of a chilled evening. Again, Aaron obviously like had a little bit more swelling and stuff that needed to go down. But he's all good now. My AirPods in the bag, darling. I told you that. They're my bag. Didn't say safe because they're not in the safe. I didn't really finish off the vlog yesterday, but we are done with Dental Centre. We have finished our treatment officially. This morning we had our last appointment. Aaron had his bike checked just to make sure it was all okay. Um, but yeah, we're so happy. We can't really fault the experience whatsoever. I really couldn't recommend it to anyone enough. Um, if you're thinking about doing the same thing, obviously you have to be sure and for Aaron and I we had our reasons. I know I haven't really mentioned much about it in the vlog um, and I meant to but basically the reason why I had my teeth done is when I was younger I was in an accident that basically pushed all of my baby teeth up into my gums um, and the roots of my adult teeth were basically damaged and my adult teeth came down bruised. So I had like composite bonds on them for a few years. I was always told I needed a permanent solution from probably like the age of eight. And I was always told I needed veneers or crowns when I was 18. And obviously I'm almost 21 now. So I've been saving like mad and I finally had the opportunity to do so. Aaron on the other hand, he, he was like, he was in an incident uh, two years ago had his front tooth knocked out completely he needed a whole like implant and new root and everything so he's had that but yeah so that's why we had it done I would I definitely wouldn't recommend purposely damaging your um, own natural teeth if they're strong and in good condition obviously like if you want to get it done because of medical reasons that's your choice and everything but um, with what I needed and the fact that I needed it done um, not just for like to change my smile cosmetically but just obviously for my health reasons as well I'm over the moon and I'm so glad I came here it is just extortionately cheaper um, 
and yeah i've just had a really good time they've looked after us really well i thought that i should end the vlog here um part one we are now gonna have a few days of finally enjoying ourselves and lots of fun jet skiing and stuff which you will see in part two but yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you so much for watching um this is my first vlog so sorry if i've been like a little bit awkward at times but i'm sure i'll get used to it if you did enjoy it be sure to leave a like comment as well if you can and also subscribe speak to you later